Ten years ago, DC and Warner Brothers took the next step to solidify their legacy in the world of animation. After a string of incredibly successful animated series, they branched out into direct-to-video films, showcasing DC Comics' most iconic heroes and villains in both adaptations of seminal comic book tales as well as original stories. To commemorate this, Warner Brothers and DC have assembled the 30 animated films from those 10 years into one massive collection, from 2007's Superman Doomsday all the way to 2017's Batman and Harley Quinn. At New York Comic Con 2017, we joined the roundtable discussion with producers and writers Bruce Timm, James Tucker, Alan Burnett, and Jim Krieg, as well as voice actors Vanessa Marshall and Jason O'Mara to talk about the imminent release of the collection and the past 10 years of animation and beyond. So I'm, I'm unboxing. I'm doing the unboxing now without the cellophane. That's nice. like but look, look there. So each of these. So when you say, "Dude, I have enough for all of these," look, they didn't put the discs in the slots because they knew they couldn't trust me not to like. Here's here's Flashpoint Paradox. <laughs> like I'm going to be buying my way through New York Comic Con with these. Like it's cash, you know. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's brilliant. So for each page, so each the, page there, there are two. Or, uh, there's two here and two here, and it's it's either art from the the cover or like alternate takes on the art. But it's definitely the artist who does the does these cool covers. Oh, that's and cool. uh, and they're oh, pretty cool. cool. I mean, it really is oh, like yeah. a it's like a. Uh, and by the way, I was picked to do this because I have the best hands. <laughs> of, uh, 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 yeah, because I'm a little I'm a little bit a little Vanna, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, look at this ceramic Absolutely. dog, you know. <laughs> Um, well, oh, this is terrific. great. That's so cool. That is terrific. Um, I don't know if you, uh, so we had a, uh, I hope we show it this time, but at, the, at San Diego we showed it, they cut together a trailer. And when you see all the images from, you know, they can cherry pick the images from 30 movies, you realize, oh my gosh, we really made something, yeah. you know? It really is quite cool. Um, and uh, it's, it's really not only it's a great set of just the movies, but the, all the shorts are in here, oh, and nice. there's there's a ton of behind the scenes featurettes. Some of them are like other Comic Con panel discussions, and uh, and it's it's really I think really worth having. And I just to finish selling it, uh, it's available <laughs> now for download. <laughs> and on November seventh, you can buy it. So you know, get some for your folks because your parents are going to appreciate this. <laughs> It'll be like a it'll be like a primer for them, and then and then they'll understand. And then you'll get that call from your mom. It's like, you know what? I played Zatanna's voice backwards, and it isn't really the words. You know? <laughs> Wait, is that, what? Is that true? Uh, no, but if I it, but I think it's a beautiful <laughs> box. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, I think we're going strong, and you'd be there. People ask, well, are you almost out? And it's like, no, we're not out. One. There's so many great stories that you already know that you want to see that hopefully we're going to get to. But the other surprise is, is evidently DC keeps making comic books every single month. So, yeah, you know, yeah, figure. Yeah. And sometimes you go, this is really good. <laughs> and I'd like to see this as a movie. And if you wait three and a half years, that might happen. <laughs> oh, uh, it was a that, that that meeting comes with a martini. <laughs> <laughs> So those are my jokes I've been saying that that uh, that that Alan it, it should be a title like Caesar like Julius Caesar was Caesar <laughs> but then uh, then uh, Octavian was also Caesar and then you just pass that down so I'm the Alan and then when I'm assassinated they'll pick a new <laughs> Alan but there'll always be an Alan you know and it will just go on in perpetuity so so for, is for now this is your title, Alan or? signing off. <laughs> Continuity titles, uh, basically we were tasked around the time New 52, the comics were doing New 52. When I got the gig, I'm jumping back, but when I got the gig, Bruce was doing Green Lantern, the series, and I just thought I'd be stepping in and, and keep, you know, doing the non-con, you know, there was no continuity at the time. We had a whole other script ready to go. Flashpoint was one of them, and um, Unbound, I did those two. And then there was another script we had in production. Um, and then our bosses from home video and, and animation came and said, you know what, stop that. We're going we're gonna to start a new universe, basically. And uh, that was a Monday. And by Friday, we had to, <laughs> I mean, it was just that fast. 
And so we had to use the new 52 that was set up as a starting point, but that was never the, the intention was never to just keep doing that. Um, to me, I used it as a way to have a continuity around stories that needed some setup. Like Judas Contract, there were plans to do that as an isolated standalone, but there's no way to really, you almost have to do a Titans movie before that. And so, for me, the continuity titles have been great because there's way, we've been using it as ways to introduce these, le not lesser known characters, but characters who may not have an easy green light with the home video people. And so, you know, we did Justice League versus Teen Titans as a way to say, here's the Justice League, and we're going to put Teen Titans with them. As long as we had Justice League in it, everyone was fine with Teen Titans. And that did really well. And now they're like, well, why don't you do a Teen Titans movie? Well, yeah, I've been wanting to for years, so. Um, but basically their approach is to build on each movie and to, you know, now we're at a place where we've done so many of them that, you know, we have a movie coming up where care, it's like the Marvel Universe where now Iron Man can show up in somebody else's movie and it's, no one's going, oh wow, that's Iron Man. It's like, oh yeah, Iron Man's there. So that's what we're trying to achieve with the incontinuity titles where people can cross over into each other's movies, we can introduce new characters and then spin them off. And Well, I mean, you know, everyone's was, before it was like, you can't, you can't, you can't. And uh, when they said it's a continuity, I'm like, well, that means we can do some world building. That means we will have multiple movies to introduce characters. Um, and, you know, I was coming off Brave and the Bold where nobody told me not to do anything. So it just seemed natural for me as a fan that that's what I wanted to see. And I saw it was, you know, if you're going to do a continuity, why would you just keep doing Batman and Justice League if you could introduce, you know, I just used them as a, as a tool to get these other characters in. So it just seemed a no-brainer. I mean, all I can say is that we're in an era where there's multiple TV series, live action, multiple animated series, multiple animated movies, multiple live action movies. I mean, what's not to love? Yeah, you, if you don't like one thing, there's always something else. So I think it's a great time to be a DC fan, uh, you know. Ha, 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 ha.